Okay, in this practical then, we're going to be doing electrolysis of copper chloride. What we're going to do, we're going to use this as a micro scale example of electrolysis. And we're going to use a petri dish and put the chemicals in small amounts to show the process of electrolysis. So we need to set up the petri dish with our electrodes. So we've got holes either side and we need a small gap between the electrodes. Okay, so, so we've got a flow of electricity through the wires and electrodes and that's, that flow is caused by the flow of electrons through the wires and these electrodes. Now to complete the circuit we need the electrolyte to sit in between the two electrodes and that is going to conduct because of the ions that are in the solution. We use some plasticine to hold these electrodes in place. Okay, so now those electrodes are nice and secure. So this is going to be the electrolyte, copper chloride. We're going to place a few drops until those electrodes are connected. Now to prove the products that are made in this electrolysis experiment, I'm going to use um, some potassium bromide. I'm going to place a drop there and I'm going to use potassium iodide and I'll place a drop to the other side. So those halogens, bromine and iodine are less reactive than the chlorine that's contained in that electrolyte. If we make chlorine gas, that chlorine gas is going to displace the bromine and it's going to displace the iodine. And we should see a colour change to prove that that displacement has happened. And so we'll prove that chlorine has been made. Another test we can use is um, blue litmus paper. If we dampen that down, chlorine gas should bleach that blue damp litmus paper, proving that we've got chlorine. So I'm going to put a lid over it. That way we're going to trap products of the electrolytes. I'm going to turn the power pack on so you can start to see some bubbles being made at each electrode. So if we place the, trace this back, this is the positive, okay? So at this one we should see chlorine gas being made, okay? So this is the anode that's going to make chlorine gas. This is the cathode. Now at the cathode we should get copper ions being deposited. So we can start to see little bits of copper being formed at the cathode and we can see bubbles being formed at the anode which is chlorine gas. So the, the potassium iodide dot here is starting to turn yellow and that yellow indicates that iodine is being produced. So the chlorine gas is displacing the iodine. We can see that the blue copper sulfate started off as a nice blue colour, it's now starting to decolorize as the copper ions are being removed. We can start to see the blue um, litmus paper and start to show that it's turning white. So it's changed from a blue colour and it's starting to be bleached and that's the chlorine gas that's doing that. And then we can start to see that the potassium iodide has been produced, it's been turned into iodine and potassium bromide is starting to react. 